Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we go over um, removing and replacing a radiator fan on this 2000 Ford Mustang. Uh, this vehicle has the 3.8 liter V6. Um, the, the fan for the V8 is a little different but the procedure is um, pretty much the same. Uh, for this vehicle all you'll need is a 7 millimeter and an 8 millimeter sockets um, with the ratchet. And as far as um, whether or not your radiator fan is bad, your radiator fan should always work when the air conditioning is on. Um, if it's not working, first check the relays and fuses. And if those are good and you're getting power to your fan, then you need to replace the fan. There's a seven millimeter bolt right here that holds your coolant tank. And we'll just speed it up as I remove that bolt. Pull up on this brace and just kind of get that out of your way. Remove the hose here. Uh, now you'll want to just kind of pull your harness. There's a series of pins. Pull them. You just kind of shake back and forth, pull them out. And then your connector, there's a tab that you push down on in here and pull that off. And then you remove two 8 millimeter bolts, one here and one right over here. Just fast forward here again as I remove those two 8 millimeter bolts. Okay, now to remove it, pull it up on one side, up on the other side, pull it back a little bit. You'll have to dip the passenger side down and rotate this side up and right out. Okay, on the right side is my original, and on the left is the new fan from 1A Auto. My original is working fine in this vehicle, so I'm not going to uh, unwrap a, a new one. Um, as you can see, they're packed very nicely. Um, but the new is the exact same shape. It's going to go in there the same, and the connector um, will uh, plug right in, and you'll be all set to go. Reverse it, put the passenger side down and in. You make sure you pull your connector out of the way and lower the driver's side down and in. Okay. Get them roughly in place. Okay, then down below, you can see that metal slot down there. There is a tab on uh, the fan. You pull up, and make sure it goes into that slot. Okay, now pull it back and make sure that each side goes into uh, the sliding tab. Now we can start our two 8 millimeter bolts back in. And we'll speed it up again here as uh, we just tighten up those two 8 millimeter mounting bolts. Okay, now plug in our harness connection and then put these tabs back into place okay. put our radiator bottle back into place okay and we'll just speed up here as we uh, put that bolt, 7 millimeter bolt, in to hold the coolant tank and then make sure that you um, plug your overflow ho hose back on. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.